Well, here we are from the back of the property. Uh, this is the closest spot to the house. This food plot here is all clover and it looks like it's doing okay. So I'll mow it just to keep it, you know, coming back up. But this one's doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Small little food plot. Uh, let's, let's take a look around, see if, uh... oh yeah, I can see here. Nipped, nipped, nipped. Yeah, there's a lot of nipping going on. So I'll set a camera up on this tree right here and let's see what's, uh, what's coming around in here. That'll, uh, that'll be interesting. Now we're gonna head down to the main food plot. I know it needs mowing bad. All right, so you can see I've mowed this once already this year. And I mean, you know, the clover and the chicory on this end here are looking really good. I mean, there's lots of clover, lots of chicory, but you can see out in the main part, that is just, it's choked up full of grass. I'm gonna mow the whole thing. I don't think I'm gonna rototill this portion here. I think this looks pretty good. I've got a tree stand. Well, you can't really see it with the leaves on that tree, but there's a tree stand right up there. There's a ladder going down. And uh, there's an entry point right here from the swamp uh, where the deer like to come through. So I'm going to mow along this edge and get down there. This was all timber, just like you see around here. And several years ago, I had a guy come in and log it. And then I had a guy uh, dig a pond over here. And then my neighbor came over and we dug a second pond over there and then connected the two. Great water source. Um, travel, deer come through here, deer come through there, and down through here and they pass through. I have another food plot up here on the hill. And that one is the one that failed last year because I didn't have the rototiller on my tractor, my big tractor. So even though the clover is thick in here, the grass is really, really kind of tall and, you know, keeps coming back. It's really getting invasive. There's a lot of other stuff in there. Uh, but I'm going to mow this whole thing. And then I'm going to go up to the upper food plot and check it out. And then this week, uh, uh, excuse me, next week, I'm going to get the rototiller on the tractor. I'm going to rototill the big area over here and this area here. And I'm going to leave the upper part alone. Well, I rough mowed it. Now I'm gonna try to sneak up to the upper plot, but boy, that could be tricky because that's, uh, the hill going up there is pretty wet and gets pretty soft. I don't know if I can make it up there without getting stuck, but we'll give her a go. All right, so this is the food plot that failed on me last year. And that was because I didn't get it in until the middle of August, actually late August. I'm gonna mow this down. This food plot will be tilled uh, next week and will be planted before the 15th. I'm probably gonna put 200 pounds of fast-acting lime in here at least just to get this soil right because I see that moss growing this soil's too acidic all right 
So I got this one mowed. And um, I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to go get some, I, I don't know, 200, maybe 300 pounds of lime. I'm going to come in here, uh, get the rototiller on. I'm going to lime this real heavy. I'm going to fertilize it. And this is going to be my main focus for getting this food plot getting this food plot done uh, before the 15th of July. Today's the 5th, so I got 10 days, 10 days to get this done. So I gotta get with it. I got a couple fishing trips planned. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. This, uh, this being retired is, uh, is tough work. I'm gonna put lime, three bags, 120 pounds. When I till it in, I'll put two more bags on top of that. All right. That's it for today's uh, food plot work. Uh, so we mowed the whole, the whole area, all the food plots I have, and then um, went up above in the very back food plot and got that cut down and got it limed real heavy. Project for uh, you know this weekend and coming up is uh, get the rototiller out and get it on the big tractor and then start rototilling. I'm gonna start up in the top, cause that's, like I said, that is my priority. That food plot up in the back. And then I'll get the main food plot um, uh, tilled up. And, uh, and then we're planting the whole thing in honey hole. I've got lots of clover. I'm leaving lots of places with clover in it. Uh, but honey hole has worked extremely well for me, except for last year. Uh, but I just because I didn't get it in early enough, so we'll have it in before the 15th of July, and it should do good uh, More updates as the food plot food plot Progresses say that twice fast um, Yeah, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching